I was in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, I didn't know science. I didn't know what science was, period. Certainly I didn't know what female scientists were. So our goal here is really to make them excited about science, to give them female role models, to show them sciences everywhere. People like them are scientists. Science is fun, interesting, exciting. And if you look at the studies, right, a lot of elementary school girls are very interested in science, very interested by the time they're seniors in high school, or certainly sophomores in college, for the most part they're gone. So really encouraging them to pursue it all the way through so that they get to the point where they can be professional female scientists making a real contribution. They're making their own pH indicator, so to measure the acidity or basicity of common objects, you can use cabbage. So red cabbage you buy in the supermarket, chop it up, uh, heat it up in water, you get a solution that changes color in the presence of acids and bases. So we did some actual laboratory chemical sodium hydroxide, that sort of thing. We also did uh, common house objects, so ammonia, baking soda, vinegar, Tums. I want them to be really excited about science, interested in science, motivated about science, and understand the presence of science all around them, and that they can be scientists, and science is cool. So there's a foundation, the Camille and Henry Dreyfus Foundation uh, sponsors a tremendous number of chemistry-related programs. They've also, I think, recognized the crucial need to talk to non-scientists and educate them about uh, chemistry. Uh, we're running this next year, too. I had a wait list. I had a substantial wait list. So I am optimistic that we're going to be able to do an even more expansive program next year with the funding from the agency.